In this tutorial, I will show you how to configure the Smart Banner feature for BuddyBoss app. When a user is viewing your website in a mobile browser on their phone, they will see a Smart Banner at the top of the website. That banner is there to encourage the user to go download your mobile app. To get started, we can go to BuddyBoss app, settings, and then Smart Banner. It's important to note that this feature will not actually work until your app has already been approved and published into the Apple App Store and Google Play Stores. The reason is that the banner will be sending your users into those stores to rate the app. So first you want to make sure you have already published your app. We have other tutorials explaining how to publish your app. At first you might see these notices saying that you need to enter an app ID in the iOS settings and that you need to enter an application ID in the Android settings. If you see this, it means that you have not yet added the information for your published apps into the BuddyBoss app plugin. I'm going to demo this feature for you. However, the app that is connected to this website is not published as it's really just for internal use. So instead, I'll be using the Spotify app just as an example. We'll configure the site so that when viewing it from the browser in my phone, tapping on the smart banner will ask us to download Spotify just to show you how it works. So I'll come over here. Once your app has been published into the App Store, there will be a public listing of your app similar to this. I'm going to show you a trick. You can always log into your Apple account to get your app ID, but you can also find your app ID from the public listing. So for this Spotify app, I can just grab this part of the URL after where it says ID, and then we'll go back into our settings. And now we're going to use that ID and enter it into the iOS settings. And then we can scroll down here until we get to the section for app information asking us for the Apple app ID. You can see what it says, enter the app ID that was assigned to your release app by Apple. This will be used to connect your smart banner and rate this app features to your listing in the store. So we'll enter it here and then we'll click save changes. And then let's go back into our settings. Now let's refresh the page and we can see that this option has become available now. Next, we'll add the application ID for Android. We can find that over here. And in here we can see a similar public app listing in the Play Store for our Spotify app. So I'm going to grab the application ID, which is actually in the URL. You can see ID equals, and it's this part. And then we'll go paste this into our Android settings by clicking on configure Android settings. And then on this page, we can scroll down into app information and we can enter the application ID in here. This will be used for the rate this app and smart banner features. So let's paste it in and then we'll click save changes. And now let's go back into our settings and we can refresh the page. And now we can see that all of the options are available to us. So let's check these. And now if I go into my website in a browser on my phone, whether that's on an iPhone or an Android device, I will see the smart banner. Then we have this other option to require that users be logged into your website to see the smart banner. This could be useful if you have a private website and people are not supposed to see content until they've logged in. You may only want to promote your app to those existing logged in members. If that's you, you can check this option also, and then the smart banner will only appear for the logged in members on your website. I'll leave it unchecked and then let's click on save changes. And now let's go view this website from a mobile browser to see what the experience is like for a user. Here we are visiting the same website in mobile Safari, and we can see our smart banner at the top, asking us to open this website in Spotify. And of course, on your actual website, you would be marketing your own app. If the user has not yet installed this app, tapping the banner will take them to go download the app in the Apple App Store if they're on an iPhone, or to the Google Play Store if they're on an Android device. And if the published app is already installed on the user's device, this banner will intelligently change its action and tapping the banner will simply open the app on their phone. I already have Spotify on this phone, so I'll tap this banner and we can see I'm immediately brought into Spotify. The BuddyBoss app provides a really amazing experience and it's a far superior experience to using a mobile version of a website. So we want to do everything we can to help guide your members into using your app so that your app can be a success. That's why we've added the smart banner feature and we hope you enjoy using it.